What's up, everybody? I'm Bananas Malia One. I'm your coach for the Minnesota Man Cargo here for week two of the Phoenix Draft League season one. Um, as you know, last week we took a heavy L, but this week we are against the Lake County Larons and their coach, Amber. And I've got my team on the bottom. Her team is on the right. And I actually, we pulled up Showdown before it started, so I was able to actually make the correct team. So, let us just get right into it. H Slash is kind of here as a wall breaker. Oh, shoot, I forgot I can't do that here. Ha! Ah. Agent Slash is kind of a, is a special wall breaker. Raikou is a pretty basic Raikou. Uh, Fat Gastrodon. Uh, Tyrantrum is here, Scarfed, and is here to... Um, was here to speed check an Azelf, was to speed creep an Azelf, but there is no Azelf, which a little surprised about, but not surprised because I have Manda Buzz. Uh, Glidley's here, uh, mostly physical, but it has freeze dry just in case of Quagsire coming. And then we have Manda Buzz in the back, being nice and fat, like Manda Buzz is. So, let us. Just see if we have to go ahead to get ready because I know somebody else wants to. You know, I should put this. I should discard, discard, other screen. Yeah, it, I have. I have to capture showdown with the whole display instead of just the browser because showdown's being really stupid. Like, really, really stupid. Or OBS is. So I'm just going to message, see if we are good to get started, because I know there's also somebody else who wants to, who's doing it. I got to get over these jitters, dude. It's a friendly league, but it's one of those things where it's like, league, the name of it just gives me stupid jitters. But uh, thinking of leads, there's obviously um, possible leads. Quagsire for rocks. Uh, Fortress for possible. Spike set up. Okay. Fortress set up. There's also Quagsire set up. I don't think Megalop is a lead. Um... I have, I have no real good pivots this week. I just realized. Oh, I should have put I should have put that on instead. Oh well. Um, leads. I could lead. Mm. This lead for me is actually kind of tough. Cause I don't just have a rocker. This 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 uh, this tyrantrum is full offensive. So. Hmm. I still think my best lead is Tyrantrum. And then, if anything, we can swap into whatever else. Because Tyrantrum, like Zapdos isn't. Zapdos dies. Tyrantrum dies. Um, I have Fire Fang for Fortress. Also got Ice or Fire Fang for Gorgeist. The only thing that really stops Tyrantrum is Quagsire. So once that Quagsire is dead. Uh, Tyrantrum pretty much sweeps this team, except for Lopony. Lopony's most likely faster, but um, besides those two, like nothing on this team appreciates Tyrantrum. So I think I'm just gonna lead Tyrantrum. Perfect. What? A okay. Uh, now do I? This Aptos could have T Wave, but I would speed it. I think I just hit head smash. Okay, the Zapdos lead into Tyrantrum. I could just hit head smash, but I had Quagsire is there. Um, I could possibly have Fire Fang predicting Fortress possible switch in, but that Fortress, even as fat as it is, is not going to really appreciate a head smash. 
Um, I wouldn't hit Ice Fang for Gore Guys because Head Smash would just do as much. Dragon Claw is probably my safe bet, but Head Smash will do the most amount of damage. So I think I just hit Head Smash. Yep. Swap into Quagsire. Oh, that still did a hefty chunk. That still did 40%. That still did 40%. So my swap in for Quagsire, if it is possibly unaware, if it is possibly um, possible like curse setup, I think my answer to Quagsire is Glalie for the fact that I have freeze dry. If Glalie gets poisoned, it's not the worst thing in the world. I could also go out into Leviathan, or not Leviathan, Levitane, the Aegis Slash, but then if she clicks Earthquake, it's going to hurt quite a bit, and I don't want her setting up, so I think my best bet for this Glalie is to go into... Uh, my best option for this Quagsire is to go into Glalie. So I can take a little bit of damage from this thing. If it's offensive, I can still take a little a hit from it. Now another thing is she doesn't know if I'm scarfed. She doesn't know if I'm banded. Uh, she may I might be assault vest, but she knows I'm not life orbed. Uh, she, I could be leftovers. But I think uh, she's just gonna get rocks up here, so I'm gonna swap in clearly. Damn, I thought she'd bring Arcanine. Arcanine just walls Glalie. Actually, like, this whole team besides Lopunny, like, Glalie kind of hurts. EQ, I take that. At about half. There's no way she stays in. So I'm glad I didn't go into Aegis Slash. That would have been... It would have been a chunk of damage... And I want Age of Slash to kind of be as healthy as possible. Um, I could just Mega hit Freeze Dry, but I, I mean... I, I, if I had Spikes here, it'd be so good. I almost put Spikes on Glalie again. I had Spikes last week. I almost had it again. Um, if I hit Freeze Dry... I could actually... I might double... Okay, so... Big Brain. I might double into... Blue Bowser. I might double into Blue Bowser, like, right now. Because she's going to go Fortress. I'm doubling. There we go. Let's go. All right. We got momentum, boys. Saw the swap coming. Now, does she double swap again? See, I could... So, I could hit Dragon Claw predicting the Quagsire to come back out. Or she might stay in to try to get spikes up, predicting me to do that. And I hit Fire Fang, and this fortress takes a hefty chunk. I don't want to reveal Fire Fang yet. I don't want to reveal any of my fangs yet. But, like like I said, like Tyrantrum is such a big boy for me right now. Also, next time Glalie is out, it has to Mega Evolve. Due to the rules of the Draft League. Ah. Uh... Do, does she stay in? The big question is, does she stay in? Mm. Because if she stays in and I hit Fire Fang, this thing dies. This fortress is dead. If I, if I hit Head Smash and it goes into the Quagsire... What's the Quagsire at? 61%. I, I just hit Head Smash. I actually just hit Head Smash. This Quagsire can't come in. It did 40%. I actually just hit Head Smash. Hmm. Okay, this is fine. I don't want to blow all my head. I should have hit Fire Fang. I thought she'd double back out. I guess just getting toxic on this is the main thing. Rocks, not too concerning. I'm just going to kill this fortress. I should have Fire Fanged, but I thought she'd double swap out into Quagsire. Looks like she cared more about this Quagsire than the fortress.
Firefang would have did a hefty chunk, and I probably would have avoided getting rocks up. But I have Defog on Mandibuzz just in case. Now, I'm not going to just hit Head Smash because of possible preserving of Fortress. She could go to Quagsire, but then Quagsire doesn't want to take... Like, I, no. Actually, it doesn't matter. I hit Head Smash because nothing on her team wants a Head Smash. If she goes out to Quagsire, it does 40% resisted. But this thing matters a lot. Tyrantrum matters so much. Ah, oh, Fireframe would have been so heat, though. It would have. I should have. I did head smash to, to predict a swap back into Quagsire, though. I mean, this is fine. Oh, that sucks. That Omega sucks. Oh, that miss sucks. Damn. That would have did at least 40%. We would have been able to kill Quagsire. That miss really hurts. Um, I'm actually going to go out into Mandibuzz predicting the EQ. Yep. Mandibuzz predicting the EQ. I'm going to hit... Okay, well, this Quagsire hasn't been getting anything from Leftover, so what is it? I think I'm just going to hit Knockoff. Assault Vest. Ooh, it's offensive. Okay. Offensive Quaggy Boy. This is fine. Uh, I'm going to just hit Roost. Become landed. Inf infestation? Bruh. <laughs> what? Okay, well, I'm just going to hit. Ooh, big plays! Oh, come on! Oh, that big sucks. Oh, that. Oh. Oh, two big misses, dude. Oh, that would have been heat. If I would have got toxic on this on this Zapdos, though, oh, it would have been so good. Uh, This might be an offensive Zapdos predicting in Gastrodon. Infestation. The big plays. Sadly, I don't think she thought infestation worked the way it did. Infestation's like rapid bind. You have to stay in in order to have it happen. Selfish quagsire. Ooh, probably, okay. Um. This, if this is an offensive Zapdos, which it might be due to seeing, you know, a bulky quagsire in the fortress, and if it's offensive, it could have heat wave. So I don't want to go into. It could have HP Ice. It could have HP Grass. But we do have Rindo. This is an obvious swap. Ooh, never mind. It wasn't an obvious swap. It could be Water Absorbed Quagsire, so I don't want to hit Scald. Hmm. Stop the swap, but who do you go out to? Gorgeist? I think I just... If it's HP Grass, I take it. I just hit Toxic. Ooh! There we go. There's the Toxic. Ooh, was predicting... Um, Glalie or Aegislash on the possible HP Grass Flex. Okay. But... I'm not going to do it again, and I'm just going to hit Ice Beam. Or do I hit Ice Beam? Tornadus doesn't want to come in. Fortress is really low. Quagsire is below... Quagsire is below 40%. I think I just hit Ice Beam. HP, but I got the Rindo. We live in that. Ooh, it is an offensive one. Um... Do I let Gastrodon go? Because I'm not living another one. 
and it's life orb. So I know I outspeed it. Do I need Gastrodon for anything else on this team? How much did Toxic do? 12? Uh, do I need Gastrodon for anything else? Um... I don't think so. Because the Tornadoes would outspeed. I'm not going to leave it in on Gorgeist. Low Punny obviously outspeeds, and I have answers to Fortress and Quagsire who are below half. I think I just stay in and hit. Okay, I mean, this is fine. She can try to save the Zapdos. It's not happening. Like, Toxic is eventually just going to take hold. I don't want to reveal Sludge Wave, even though it really doesn't do anything here. Yeah, Toxic, yep. And Toxic takes down the Zapdos. Alright, so Gastro's down again this week, but that's okay. But Zapdos is also out of the picture as well. Uh, she was trying to Roost Stall, but you can't really do that when one Mon is Toxic. If I would have had Leftovers instead of Rindo, I mean, I would have died without the Rindo. Um, who's my play here? Aegislash? Yeah, Aegislash is my play here. Nothing wants to come in on this Aegislash. Mm. I had HP Ice in case of Garchomp, but Quagsire is here instead. Uh, I'm just going to stay in because I have a good chunk of bulk, and if this Quagsire outspeeds me... Yeah, I just hit a... I just hit... Oh, I outspeed! Okay. Yep, and that's a dead Quagsire. Quagsire is down. All right, we got momentum coming this way. We got momentum coming this way. Uh, there's low punny. Now this low punny is actually going to be able to hit me super effectively, but I think I just king shield. Ooh, does low punny get sword stance? Um. Nope. Lopunny does not get Swords Dance. Uh, does Lopunny get any type of setup against me? Does Lopunny get any type of setup? Let's try Bulk Up. Probably, right? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Really? Not even Bulk Up? This one has no setup. Hmm... Yeah, this one has no setup. So, I just I think I just hit King Shield. I just hit King Shield. Ooh, Substitute. Okay, okay. I forgot. I forgot about Substitute. Well, this could be really bad. The Soul Pony outspeeds everything on my team. Do I go for the double? No, I need Age of Slash. This low punny's an issue now. I think I need to stay in and risk the double. Or I break the sub. Even with a scarf, I don't outspeed the lob honey. Oh, that was so bad. Will she predict a swap and not go for high jump kick? Then again, nothing on my team appreciates it. Do I stay in and break the sub? Or do I go for the double king shield? If I break the sub, I don't lose Age of Slash. Well, no. Well, she outspeeds. I don't lose Age of Slash if I break the sub. 
And she might sub again, predicting a king shield on the sub break. Uh, this this is this this is definitely a spot where the choice I make matters. Cause she's faster than me, so when I hit flash cannon, I won't swap forms until afterwards. But a big issue that's going to happen is um, she probably just hits high jump kick. Nothing on my team appreciates high jump kick from Lopunny. Nothing I brought besides Gastro, but besides that, like, honestly, nothing. I think. Because if. Because here's the thing if I hit King Shield and it doesn't go off, if I don't get the lucky 50 50 or whatever the percentage it is, then I just lose my Aegis Slash. Well, I don't lose Aegis Slash, but Aegis Slash just takes a hefty chunk of damage. And if I hit Fast Cannon and break it, then it puts her in a spot where I'm going. I'm probably going to live this because I'm faster, but it puts her in a spot where she has to make a choice between subbing again, predicting me to King Shield a second time, or not. So I think I just break the sub. Ah, but it's a mega low bunny. Um, I don't know if it's a roll or not. <sighs> I'm making a play. Nope. Damn. I think I just lose this thing now. I should have king shielded twice. Oh, I wish I could go back and change it. Down goes Age of Slash. That really sucks. Um, I think I just lose now. I just lose this Lop Honey unless... Ah, I almost ran Protect on something too. Yeah, I think I just lose to this lop honey now. Damn, that really sucks. Um what's my play? I should have King Shielded twice. I should have went for it, because if it would have went through this, she would have been at minus two and down to like twenty five percent. I forgot about substitute, like ten million percent. <sighs> she got this thing in safely and set up, that really sucks. I think I gotta go out to Raikou, but I think I die. If age, well, then again, it was super effective against Age of Slash. I just gotta hit Thunderbolt and hope I live. She could also think I'm scarfed with this, because I would outspeed if I'm scarfed. So she might actually swap to try to preserve it, but then again, I doubt it. Well, we lived on five. But we died anyways. Oh, this sucks. I think I just lose. Gliding her get sub up was so bad. She swapped? Oh my god, she swapped. What? She might have Volt Switch. She actually swapped. I guess she wasn't confident enough in her low bunny. Oh, that was really bad, though. I at least got the sub off. Let me get Raikou off here. Oop. Oh, I should have I double King Shield. Not going to let that sit on me, though. Got to focus on this. Um, the only... I don't think there's any way I can win with that low bunny now. Damn. Predicted Toxic went into Fortress. This thing could have Volt Switch. So. I'm just gonna Roost. Oh, it got Spikes up. That's fine. I'm just gonna hit Defog.
I think she just goes back out into low punny now. Like, she just goes back out into low punny. She's also kept Tornadus and Gorgeist in the back. Went out to Tornadus. Knock off. It's fine, I can hit Toxic. God, that Toxic does so much. That did very little. Oh, Z move? Okay, this is fine. So she was Z move. Mm. But she just wins, though. She just wins because of um, low punny. But she doesn't want to clean switch into this. Like. Oh, uh, yeah, and there goes my scarf. Yeah, she was max speed. Oh, well. That's game. Unless she somehow misplays with Low Punny, she just goes out to... Low Punny? Why didn't you just go out into Low Punny? What? You out speed. If this Gore guys is max speed... Uh, what's going to do more? A Head Smash or Ice Fang? I'm max attack, so probably Head Smash, right? Just to do damage? Yeah, I didn't do anything. Why would you Leech Seed? Predicting a swap, maybe? Yeah, because Head Smash was 150. Ice Fang would do, like, 130. Oh, Shadow Snake. Okay. But that's game. Uh, there's nothing... I mean, I could maybe try stuff with Glalie, but she just outspeeds me. So, that sucks. Mega and hit return. Unless she swaps out into low punny for some reason. Yeah, that's game. That one that one was a lot closer. That was a lot closer. Uh letting low punny set up like she did was definitely the downside for me. And I was not keeping up with these because I was so invested. Uh yeah, there's nothing I can do. Unless she unless she is cheeky. There's no way this ice shard kills. Oh, but fake out in turn. That was GG's. That was actually a good match. I wasn't really, like, mad about that. That ended up coming really down to the wire for some reason. But um, with that, I think we are going to hop in the general call for commentary. Except I can't. Um, um, uh, um, uh. Um, why can't I get in the call? Oh, this is so weird. It's two L's, but I'm not that mad about that one. What the f- I can't get in the call! Oh. Hey, bunny over here. There we go. I didn't well, want to in that my bunk kick. Uh, you have a turn, hello? You did not have to freaking Yeah, I was- I, I hope you know- I was very confused, like, well, I just lose the high jump kick, low pony now. And then she swapped, I'm oh, like, so uh, okay. And then me, <laughs> me and Frost were looking at freaking Mandibuzz's moves, we were like, she doesn't. He doesn't have Rayford. Does his moves? I thought it was. He like revealed all four. <laughs> he revealed all four. Defogged. I was like, does he not have Defog? Does he have Brave Bird instead? Yo, but that Custap, that Custap Fortress spikes though. Yeah, yeah that's the other thing. <laughs> Why? That, uh, that's got a big brain. No, 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 no. We don't. We're not gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about that Quagstar, my guy. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the AV Quagstar. What was wrong with you? What was Quagsire's fourth move? Please tell me what it was called. No, no, it was Skull, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Infestation. I saw, I, oh, I saw the I Infestation. Wanna talk, I want to say right now. I want to say right now. Quagsire's entire reason for being there was Volcarona. <laughs> See, I thought about bringing Volcarona, but like the fact that but like Volcarona Quagsire... gets Giga Drain. Quagsire has a salt vest two five two plus. Uh... <laughs> Quagsire would have lived a Giga Drain on 
Yeah. And we're well, one shot with that? Stone Edge. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That's the entire reason for Quagsire being there was in case I came into that scenario. Yeah. Bro, she clicked freaking leech seed on. I was so mad. I saw her hit leech seed. I'm like, what are you? What? <laughs> Just kill me. <laughs> I was like, this is toxic. I wanted to get as much HP as possible. Man, you, you still died. I that that toxic play where Aegislash Slash died. I really sat there and I was like, I either hit King Shield again, hope for the 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 double protect, or. But I think King Shield works if it doesn't like if it doesn't block anything the first time. I think it works. The no, first it's, sure no, the it works time. just like no, protect. It's like protect. It's just like really? protect. You can't double it, or it it has the same protect thing. I thought if it like didn't do anything, you could do it again. Like it didn't block yeah. anything. If it fails. If it fails, just like protect and detect. If it fails. I I I I I quit the chit chat. I need to see his teams real quick. Yep, I'm getting mine. Oh my god. I'm getting mine. But that that was that was still good. I had some some good swaps myself. I was we and Frost were looking like we like freeze dry literally bodies her team. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I my my, that, my only like... my only thing with Glalie was like the fact of the low pony. It was like, and I then I looked at Megalopony. I was like, wait, Scrappy Megalopony kind of fits the his team. Yeah, that's what I. That's why that player I was sitting there like, do I double protect on Aegislash Slash or do I hit Flash Cannon hoping for like? And then you couldn't like miss. Shadow Sneak or anything. So no, like, I was you... special. And I was saying, and I was saying, yo, King Shield right now. She's clicking high jump. I did not expect protect. Bro, when she clicked protect, I hope you know. I, I saw that. Mom. I hope you know. I saw the low pony come out, and I'm like, I looked up immediate, like every setup move this thing could get. And I'm like, okay, I'm good. And I saw substitute. And I'm like, fuck, that's also a setup move technically. God damn it. <laughs> you know, that was Mitch's idea. <laughs> I fucking know it. <laughs> he said, you know, we should put substitute or something on Megalopony in case it has King Shield. I'm like, you know, you're right. <laughs> Dang it, Mitch. He knows he's banned from building with people. I'm tired of this nigga son. Yeah. Did I say? Yeah. The 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 main person on my team that I was making sure to keep alive was Tyrantrum because I uh, speed sped crepit to with Scarfell speed as elf. Oh love. <laughs> Wait, what? Gastrod Sludge Wave. Yeah, it was in case of um. You know, Moongus and like Gorgas. There was not like. Isn't it neutral on Gorgas though? Yeah, it's it's neutral on both of them, but it's like just to get damage out. But you have Ice Beam. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like. Wait. <laughs> Are you okay? So I was like, if you have toxic, you better have recover on this. <laughs> it's also there for Aromatis. Aromatis, yes, I can give you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just an option for damage. I'm not hitting Earthquake on anything on her team or Earth Power on anything on her team. No, no, no. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking you had Earth Power in case of Zapdos. I was like, yo, Big Brain, if he click, if she clicks Zeus one more time, if he clicks Earth Power in one shot, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like thoughts, thoughts were there, but you know. I saw. Thought he funny. was going to swap. That's why I kept roosting because I was like, oh well. Yeah, but I sat, there, like, I sat there like I sat there like you're toxic. <laughs> There's no reason for me to swap. You can't hit me unless you hit HP grass again. So I thought you were going to swap. I was like, oh, he's going to swap and preserve this thing. So I'm just going to keep roosting and see Ice if beam. I can get. He's going to swap again. Ice beam. Okay, he's not going to swap. <laughs> That's like, what okay. I should have swapped. <laughs> eventually, eventually, I thought that. You know, I thought that when you I did it twice. I was like, maybe he'll do it now. And then I'm yeah, like, yeah, me and Frost was just waiting on the freaking Earth Power to come through when you were clicking. We waiting yeah. Earth Power. I was like, yo, where's the Earth Power? Bro, where but I, I had I had two misses that kind of. Did stuff too. That head uh, smash on the Quagsire switch, that would have been great because that did 40%. You know, I was like, I saw that and I'm like, oh my god, I literally. You thought you were a bandit. No, I was, no, I was scarfed to specifically speed creep a max I speed timid as elf. Because that boy hit hard. I was just Bro, that's the thing with Tyrantrum. He fucking swings. I was like, yo. 30%? What the? Yeah, almost 45%. 40% with Jolly Nature, yeah. Like, I literally. Swap to Quagsire because I was like, this thing is probably Scarf. That's why I didn't stay into Zapdos my first turn. And then it did so much, I was like, maybe it isn't Scarf. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I prepped it specifically for Azelf. 
I want you to literally call the fire fang too. I was like, yeah, I hope. Fire yeah, I know. I sat there like I, I, I either fire fang or I hit head smash because nothing on her team appreciates a head smash. Uh, all right, folks. I am, I am elated to see that tornadoes have speed EV. <laughs> <laughs> All that speed. But what were you trying to? <laughs> but 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 but. However, that Zebo was not necessary. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, I did it because what if I had missed Hurricane? You didn't even have to go on to tornado. <laughs> you didn't have to go on to tornado at all. <laughs> you know. I didn't know what I didn't know it didn't have Brave Bird. <laughs> Ever when you went to tornadoes, all four moves were revealed. <laughs> yeah, literally, all awesome. four moves were revealed. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because I won. <laughs> he could have won a lot sooner. If I didn't know he didn't have Brave Bird. He never clicked Defog, and I had like two layers up. I was like, what is he doing? Does he not just want Defog? I gotta <laughs> start defog running Brave Bird. <laughs> I gotta start running Brave Bird on Mandibuzz, dude. That's like the second time, second week in a row where if I had Brave Bird on Mandibuzz, it'd be easy class. <laughs> it wouldn't be a fucking issue. That's literally why I swapped, was because I was like, he didn't show Brave Bird, and he was out when I had the like, Stealth Rocks and Spikes up, so maybe he has Brave Bird. I don't want to lose my Lopunny, which destroys the rest of his team, so I played safe. <laughs> I, I mean, like, it, it worked out in the end, you know. Tyrantrum <laughs> is freaking dumb because it did that much damage on a bold near max HP fortress. Hell yeah. It did what, 40%? 40 45. I yeah, was like, it was a lot. Like giving this a neutral hit still, but god dang. Yeah, if I was if if I wasn't like scared of like the Azelf because of the also, fact that imagine, imagine, you know, it beats all my imagine. team except Raikou. Then imagine, I wouldn't have probably imagine. banded it and it would have hit hard as fuck. Well. It did thirty it did thirty five percent to a quiet spell. Mind it was resisted. Yeah, I saw you hit infestation and I'm like, uh I didn't want you swapping because I wanted to swap to Zapdos. Yeah, but that's uh, the thing, infestation's then... like wrap and bind, you have to stay in. <laughs> No, <laughs> I, re I thought that the moment, but then I was just like, no, I don't want my Quagsire dying. <laughs> so he swapped, and all of a sudden, Infestation was just there, and then it was just, yeah. it just gone. like, see, he can't predict out. my swap and swap. Me and Inferno, <laughs> me, me and Inferno were, were just appalled at to see Infestation. Honestly, I've only used Quagsire like five times and didn't know I got Infestation. I didn't know either, and Mitch told me. I didn't even really want to put well, it of on. Of course so Mitch was, told you! Fucking Mitch! Like, Infestation doesn't really do anything. We just didn't have anything else to put on it. Yeah, I gotta talk to Mitch. When I when I say you to Zapdos, I'm like, this is the obvious play. I'm gonna go into Gastrodon. <laughs> I shouldn't no, do it, but I... I did it anyways. <laughs> and then he heat waves. It was that's why I clicked heat waves. That's why I clicked heat wave because I was like, oh, maybe he's predicting me to have HP grass because I didn't think he would have a grass, the grass berry Rindo or whatever. Window berry. Yeah. Yeah, and then I was just flex? like, oh shit, um, he has that. <laughs> so... Can we talk about the flex that, that Amber did with uh, Adamant, low pony instead of Jolly? Well, I mean, yeah, she man. didn't need That's it, though. She outsped everything on my team. Exactly, the flex. He and just slashed. Dude, the only reason I ever run uh, uh, Jolly Lopony is because I'm afraid of Scarfers. Mm. I don't think any of my team, if I would have scarfed him fast enough, would have outsped it anyways, so... Raikou would have. Yeah, if I scarf Raikou. Was... She, she got sun set up. Which was my downfall. I lost like everything dead, so. I know. That's why Lopunny's like, like he ain't got no Evil Trader, though. <laughs> yeah. That's why, like, that's why that turn took so long. So I'm like, either Flash Cannon maybe live because I had Aegis Slash live, you know, a plus two stab <laughs> knockoff from a Malamar. Or. I hit King Shield again and hope it goes through because that saves me. <laughs> yeah, the fact you left that still baffles me. That you had the lowest of low rolls. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, it was still good. We both yeah, good it was a good game regardless. I was, was thinking. Game. I, was... I was thinking turn two. Turn two. I didn't think of Bandit or Scar Tarantrum. I was thinking D Dance. <laughs> See, and like, and that's the thing. Like, if it wasn't like. Like having and the threat like, of as a lead. another head smash and does and does dance. Well, gyro ball hurt, but I didn't see no gyro ball. No, no gyro ball. No gyro ball. 
Still, I think I think the best play of the match was definitely that Custap spikes. Thousand percent. <laughs> <laughs> Big play. I didn't need I Fortress that. anymore. I was just like, here, take it. I thought you were going to go out and play Ransom or something Either to avoid that. the Toxic on Mandibuzz, and you never did. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just talk. Well, I was just trying to preserve health on him. Either that like... or Infestation Quagsire. One of the two. <laughs> It was an interesting match to say indeed. You can bl yeah. blame Mitch for that. <laughs> this is why Mitch is banned from building with people. This is why Mitch is banned. This is why we don't want Mitch to join at all. The sub King Shield thing worked. <laughs> yeah. It's like, imagine, no one runs sub on the Megalop any. He, he won't be expecting it. <laughs> imagine, imagine he took the risk. I know, dude, that would have saved my ass if I would have got that. I would have been, I think I would have just, like, gave up. I would have forfeited right then and there. Because then I could have just stayed in on Aegislash, because she wasn't killing at minus two. Oh my god, that's a 40 minute recording. And, All right, I and, gotta end this. It's yeah. Fun. Last thoughts? Um, um, that was fun. Oh, was Thanks, Banana. Oh, oh yeah, I enjoyed the match. Regardless of my loss. Infestation Quagsire from Infestation now on. Infestation Quagsire. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's coming. Cut stab spike, <laughs> spikes. Get that spike up. Get that spike up. That's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the match. That definitely went better than the one against Inferno. I definitely had to make a big play that would change the whole course of the match. And in the end, it didn't play out for me. We're 0-2, but that's okay. Uh, join in next week for the next match. Whenever it is. B -b -b bye bye